It's like a new, a new cycle for me to move into, I guess, things I've always wanted to express but hadn't felt comfortable with in the past and um, starting to really apply, I guess, my aesthetic process to these, to these new concepts that I'm interested in. One being a feature film about the disappearing honeybees that I'm working on called Honey for Sale. I just like people to access that part of themselves, that creative part, that emotional part within themselves that perhaps they don't see every day. I think my work has a different impact on different people. Um, it's definitely dark and aesthetic, so some people don't always understand it. And I find, you know, since it, most of my explorations are silent or um, not always straightforward storytelling. Uh, it's, it's not always easy for everyone to connect to. Um, however, I do feel that most people feel the emotion in my imagery. You know, I feel it's a, a beautiful thing that uh, everyone should be doing on some level, whatever way they, whatever the way they feel comfortable expressing themselves. And for me personally, it's it's through you know self-portraiture like photographs like creating these worlds whether it's a still image or a moving image so for, for the past five years committed myself to the indigenous community and working with uh, indigenous youth at-risk youth um, and using media as like a healing tool for them to express themselves and and to really inspire young people to use this uh, as a voice and as a healing tool for themselves and uh, I really want to continue to um, do work on that level in the community um, and that will always be important to me so